At 22 years old, he challenged uh, for the world title. He went up against a legendary fighter in Eric Morales. Came out short, but he showed tremendous, tremendous, tremendous heart. He demonstrated to his home country in Mexico uh, that he has what it takes to one day uh, become world champion. And now in Mexico, people love him, people respect him, people uh, follow him because of his fighting spirit uh, and because of his dedication uh, to the sport of boxing. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a young fighter who has a record of 26 and 1 with 21 with 20 knockouts, Pablo Cesar Cano. Buenos días. Para mí es un gusto estar aquí en Nueva York. Good morning. It's a, it, it's a great pleasure to be here in New York City. Es la primera vez que estoy aquí. Estoy muy agradecido con la empresa y con it's the first time that I'm here. I'm very grateful to all the members of the press and the champion, I'll call him by his name, uh, Pauli Malinagi, for giving me the opportunity. I am ready, I am prepared, this is my opportunity, this is my time, and I'm going to win. <laughs> I would like to thank you that I've trained very hard and it's always been my dream to be a world champion. And I know this is the opportunity of a lifetime and I'm going to take full advantage of it. I know that in order to be the best, you have to fight the best. And I want to fight with all the best. I would like to thank all of you who are here today. And on October uh, the 20th, there's going to be a big surprise. Well, he didn't do it like that. <laughs> that is all. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much, uh, Pablo. So it is my pleasure to introduce a young man who beat all odds. He went over seas and did the impossible. And not the impossible to him, not the impossible to us, but people obviously were counting him out because he faced a dangerous, powerful, strong, in-your-face champion down in Europe. He obviously is the current WBA welterweight world champion and the former junior welterweight world champion. He dazzles you with his boxing ability. But one thing about Pali Malinaji that I believe, personally, he doesn't get much credit for, is his tremendous heart. The ability for him to fight against Miguel Cotto, for instance, with a broken jaw, right? I mean, it's unbelievable. And still in there fighting till the last bell. Pali Malinaji is your champion. And for us, it is a great pleasure to be showcasing him in Brooklyn in his hometown as a world champion defending his world title with a record of 31 and 4, 7 knockouts out of Brooklyn, New York, Pauli Magic Cannon by a Before I get started, anybody else want to call me out? I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty popular today. I'll tell you. I'm feeling pretty popular. Uh, Big shout out to Mano, Brooklyn Zone, rap star right here. Uh, they welcome me out live in my fight on the 20th. You know, this is gonna be a big celebration all about Brooklyn. Uh, you know, I'm born just a few miles from where the arena is being built, so I'm born in Long Island College Hospital, it's probably less than five miles from the arena. So for me, it's, it's extra special really to 
come home and defend a world championship so close to literally the place where I'm born, you know, literally, not just the city, I mean literally almost the place where I'm born, you know. Um, it's a special thing. I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank Andy Canzaro, my, uh, my manager. I want to thank Stephen Besh, my attorney. I have a great team, great team around me, man. Uh, Steven Espinosa, I want to thank him as well. Uh, ever since he's gotten to Showtime, really, Showtime has been making some big moves, man. I mean, there's some, I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying, but I've known Showtime having a lot of great fights this year, you know. And uh, it's no coincidence just because uh, Steven's there. He's not just a suit like a lot of these guys are in this business, and I'm not going to mention names, but not just a suit just comes on and puts on the suit and acts cool and has a spot in the office. You know, he's actually a cool guy, man. You see, you see Steve, you talk to Steve, cool as hell. So, and most importantly, he's knowledgeable. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad he's on board uh, over there at Showtime. Um, I want to get to a couple other things, man. It's, coming, it's not coming across my head. Oh, yeah, it's one thing I wanted to mention. I was, when I, check, I, when I got in last night, <laughs> I get hit in the head, man. Sorry. <laughs> when I got in last night, you know, I uh, I uh, I saw Danny uh, checking in, and as I was going back to my room, it uh, it occurred to me. I was like, you know, I remember two years ago going to a press conference uh, to announce the whole Barclays Arena deal with Golden Boy and stuff like that, and I was like, I wonder how many people thought Danny be in the main event and I be in the main event two years ago at this time, you know. <laughs> I wonder how many people would have predicted that two years ago. And if you would have made that bet, you would have probably got some good money for good money back from, from on your bet because I think both me and Danny have come across a lot of doubters, you know, and um, you know, we've uh, we've been able to overcome a lot of things, you know. And um, sometimes you learn on the job, you know, I've taken some defeats in my career and uh, and sometimes you learn on the job. But um, you know, you live, you learn and uh, and you get better, you know, and sometimes you get humbled and you come back strong, you know. Last time I fought in New York Two years ago, I would say most everybody in this room wrote me off. You know, I would say this guy's. Everybody thought this guy's done. You know, and um, I had some questions about it myself. I'll be honest with you, but I got with a great team, picked my stuff up, went to the, went out west. Got with a great trainer, Eric Brown, and uh, signed with Golden Boy Promotions. They're a go-getter company. You know, um, I'm a go-getter. I'm ambitious. I'm not a person that just just is, is, is content with mediocrity. I'm, I'm somebody that wants to be the best. I want to be associated with the best. I want to be with hungry people all the time because I'm always hungry. I stay hungry no matter how much money I make or no matter what I achieve, I'm never happy with it, man. I'm always hungry. I stay ambitious. And so when you're like that, when you're a go-getter and you, and you remain ambitious, you want to surround yourself with those same kind of people. And I think signing with Golden Boy was the best move I made, man. I, and I'm not so sure too many companies could have brought me back the way Golden Boy did. Two years later, I had four fights with Golden Boy, two of them by stoppage. I respect Pablo Cizacano a lot. He's a young guy. I was 23 years old at one time too, man. I mean, I, I know how hungry the kid is, you know? Uh, I remember coming up, not having too much money, uh, wanting to make that money, wanting to get those world championships, uh, being young and, and having that dream in front of you. When the dream is in front of you and, and you're so young, you can almost taste it every time you step out in the ring, you know what I mean? No matter what kind of fight it is. And so when you finally achieve that, that level of fighting where you're fighting for world championships and you're young like that, you know, you're just seeing your dreams unfold in front of you. So I know what Paulo Cisatano is, kind of is um, I know what he's thinking and I know, I know what he's going through. And I respect the hungry guy and I've told many people, you know, I'm not counting this guy out. You know, everybody, not too many people will know him, but I'm not counting him out because he's come up the hard way and, um, and he's a young man with, with a lot of dreams. It's just, man, they didn't give me this world championship. <laughs> they didn't give me this world title, man. You know what I mean? And so, just like he's hungry, I may not be as young, but I'm still hungry. Like I said, I remain ambitious. I won two world championships in my career. Most people didn't think I would win one. I won two of them. I went on the other side of the world, and I knocked out an undefeated world champion. And nobody thought I was going to do that. Woo! Went over there, I went in his home city, and I knocked him out. Woo! I'm back home. I'm not giving it up anytime soon. Thank you. Brooklyn, stand up.